नमस्कार अ वार्म वेलकम टू वर्ल्ड न्यूज एंड इंडियन परस्पेक्टिव ऑन ऑल इंडिया रेडियो दिस इज निश्चित कुमार ब्रिंगिंग ग्लिम्सेज ऑफ मेजर डिवेलपमेंट्स ऑफ द डे फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द ग्लोब द हेडलाइंस India welcomes UK's Indo-Pacific tilt both countries hold delegation level talks in New Delhi British Prime Minister Boris Johnson to be India's chief guest at Republic Day parade next year SCO Secretary General says India has potential to become one of the largest digital ecosystems in the world India issues guidelines for mass covid-19 vaccination in Afghanistan deputy governor of Kabul kill in sticky bomb attack European Commission says EU is fully dedicated to clinch a post-Brexit trade deal before December 31st and in cricket ICC announces full schedule of 2022 Women's World Cup India and UK today held delegation level talks to strengthen cooperation in different areas including trade and prosperity defense and security climate and health Visiting UK Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab met external affairs minister of India Dr S Jayashankar in New Delhi the two leaders discussed policy directions to broaden bilateral cooperation and encourage more activities and collaborations Dr S Jayashankar welcomed UK's Indo-Pacific tilt he said both countries will cooperate closely on global issues and in the multilateral organizations Mr Jayashankar said it is important that India and UK strengthen their collaboration to hasten their post covid economic recovery he added that this has many facets including promoting greater trade and investment fostering innovation and facilitating the flow of talent the minister said in recent years there have been big changes in global politics and the two countries believe that their interests are better served by working together more effectively that will not only be building on our historical ties but also expressing our shared commitment to a multipolar world we've had this morning about 4 hours of discussion on a very wide range of issues the focus has been on how to take our ties to a higher level in recent years as you all know there've been very big changes in global politics and we both believe that our interests are better served by working together more effectively the uk foreign secretary is on a four day official visit to india British Prime Minister Boris Johnson will be the chief guest at Republic Day Parade in January 2021. The visiting UK Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab confirmed that PM Johnson has accepted India's invite to be the chief guest at the Republic Day Parade next month. SCO Secretary General Vladimir Norov has said India has the potential to become one of the largest digital ecosystems in the world. He said this at a press conference in Beijing on the results of the recently concluded Councils of Heads of Government. He noted India's proposal of creating a special working group on startups and innovation and a working group on traditional medicines. He said that with over 1 billion mobile phone subscribers and over 600 million internet users, India has the potential to become one of the largest digital ecosystems in the world. Mr. Norov praised India's hosting of 19th meeting of the SEO Council of Heads of Government on 30th November. He also highlighted that India will be playing an active, positive and constructive role to enhance cooperation within the SEO. Government of India has issued guidelines for mass COVID-19 vaccination drive in the country. Health and Family Welfare Ministry is planning to vaccinate nearly 30 crore people during the first phase Pfizer Serum Institute of India and Bharat Biotech have applied for market authorization for the vaccines the vaccination drive will start once government approves emergency use of covid-19 vaccine the vaccine will be offered first to healthcare workers frontline workers and to persons above 50 years of age it will be followed by persons younger than 50 years of age with associated comorbidities and finally to the remaining population The COVID vaccine intelligence network Covin system a digitalized platform will be used to track enlisted beneficiaries for the vaccination and anti coronavirus vaccines on a real time basis Nation is paying homage to Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel on his 70th death anniversary today he was the first deputy prime minister of India and also held the home portfolio fondly known as the iron man of india sardar vallabh bhai patel brought together more than 500 princely states with india he laid the foundation of an empowered strong and prosperous india prime minister narendra modi paid tribute to sardar patel on his death anniversary in his message mr modi said that the path shown by him will always inspire us to protect the unity integrity and sovereignty of the country In Afghanistan, Deputy Governor of Kabul has been killed in a sticky bomb attack in the capital city today. Security officials said that Governor Mahbubullah Mohebi was traveling by car 
when a device attached to his vehicle exploded. No group has yet claimed responsibility. Attackers often use the word sticky bombs which are stuck to vehicles by magnets. Afghan news channel Tolo TV said that Mr. Mohebi's secretary was also killed in this latest blast and two of his security guards were injured. Violence involving the Taliban has continued in Afghanistan despite peace talks between the group and Afghan officials in Doha. This is All India Radio giving you the world news. The European Commission has said that European Union is fully dedicated to clinching a post-Brexit trade deal before Britain's transition out of the bloc ends on December 31st. European Commission spokesman Daniel Ferry in a news briefing has said EU is fully dedicated to trying to reach a deal with the UK. He expressed hope that there will have a deal in place on the 1st of January. U.S. Attorney General William Barr said on Monday that he will step down from his position in the next week. His announcement has come shortly after the Electoral College confirmed President Donald Trump's loss to Democratic President-elect Joe Biden. Meanwhile, President Trump said that Deputy Attorney General Jeff Rosen will take over as the Acting Attorney General after Barr's departure. Now, the coronavirus updates from around the world. UK's Health Secretary Matt Hancock has said that more than 1,000 cases of the new variant has been identified in the country. The government has informed that capital London will move into England's highest tier of COVID-19 restrictions. The Netherlands Prime Minister Mark Rutte said on Monday that it will go into a tough second lockdown for at least five weeks in an attempt to fight the coronavirus. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan has said that the country will impose a five-day full lockdown beginning on December 31st to contain the COVID-19 pandemic. And Brazil's health regulator and visa said on Monday, accused China's health authorities of not being transparent in their authorization of COVID-19 vaccines for emergency use. The World Health Organization has said that it is aware of a new variant of COVID-19 that has emerged in Britain. But there is no evidence that the strain behaves differently to existing types of the virus. WHS emergencies expert Mike Ryan told a news briefing in Geneva that the agency is aware of this genetic variant reported in 1,000 individuals in England and the authorities are looking at its significance. Singapore on Tuesday announced a bubble arrangement scheme to allow a limited number of business officials and other high economic value travellers from around the world. The decision comes ahead of this year's annual World Economic Forum, WEF, will make its debut in Asia in May. WEF has relocated from its usual home in the Swiss ski resort of Davos over coronavirus safety concerns. Singapore already has some arrangements with certain countries for restricted travel, but this is the first scheme open to visitors worldwide. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has proposed new envoys to mediate conflicts in Libya and the Middle East. Guterres put forward his current Middle East envoy, Nikolay Mladenov, to become his Libya special envoy, replacing Hassan Salem. UN chief named veteran Norwegian diplomat Tor Venesland to succeed Mladenov as the UN mediator between Israel and the Palestinians. The International Cricket Council, ICC, on Tuesday announced that full schedule for the 2022 Women's World Cup. It will be played in New Zealand between March 4th and April 3rd. The ODI World Cup was due to be held in New Zealand next February and March, but was postponed until the start of 2022 due to the coronavirus pandemic. India is celebrating the 151st birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. Before we end, let us listen to his favorite bhajan, Vaishnava Jan, by artists from Sri Lanka. And with that, we end this bulletin. See you at the same time tomorrow with the next edition of World News.